Hi, this is Shelly Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the 14th Annual B. Riley & Company Investor Conference here in Santa Monica, California. I have with me Dr. Kishore Sendrapu of Max Linear Inc. Symbol MXL. It's a publicly traded company. I want to thank you for coming on to SNN Live. Well, thank you, Shelly, for uh, inviting me over to talk, to talk to you today at this conference. Okay, so let's get right into it. Tell me about Max Linear. You know, Max Linear is a broadband uh, radio frequency communication signals semiconductor company. What we do is we really process very, very high frequency signals that uh, carry your internet data, uh, uh, broadband signals, and we receive them with our semiconductor chips and we allow you to be able to use it for watching TV or, uh, or browsing the internet when you use a cable modem. So our products are in various uh, products that you probably are using them today but don't know where inside. For example, when you buy a broadband cable modem from uh, a Comcast or a Time Warner, most likely we're inside those products of Aris or Motorola and uh, we're also in, um, in in Europe and other countries we're also in terrestrial set-top boxes where you receive signals from the air free TV we're in televisions if you go to Costco and buy a sharp television you will see Max Linear chips inside that we basically do these broadband RF receivers that really allow you to uh, very fast access to the internet and at the same time allow you to experience this uh, really phenomenal video explosion that you have throughout the world today when you watch and record uh, programs and uh, replay them later on uh, or watch uh, content on the internet, maybe Netflix or Hulu or any of these things. So um, there's a pretty exciting market area to be in as a semiconductor company. So you're an OEM manufacturer? Oh, we are not an OEM manufacturer actually, Shelley. We are a chip manufacturer that sells to OEM who make the equipment like a Motorola or an Aris uh, or a Cisco and they in turn sell to you know, regular consumers through an operator. And you are tuned in, aren't you? We are absolutely tuned in to a market. That's what we do. We make tuners, which are called, these are radio frequency broadband receivers and televisions. That's how we got started. Today, do we, we do much more than that, but uh, that's exactly what we are. Where, uh, Dr. San, uh, 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 Sandra Poo, where does the growth in MXL come from in the future? So, you know, there are various areas of growth. The company's focus today is, uh, is in investing in operator kind of service markets and also infrastructure markets is a longer term focus. So today, the entire growth is coming with this big uh, explosion in demand for internet bandwidth as everything goes over IP or the internet protocol format. Uh, everything on internet uses this format. And uh, that is driving our growth. We grew pretty, pretty strongly over the last three years with a component annual growth rate of about 35%. And we hope to be on the growth trajectory. So the next big growth leg will be, will be entering the satellite market where we'll be enabling the media server gateway market inside the home for satellites. And then uh, we're also investing in satellite infrastructure. If you look at your homes, there's a dish with microwave electronics on top of your home. That entire dish has to be re-architected so that you have this wonderful digital multimedia experience inside the home, and we will enable that. And then uh, the cable itself will have to be changed to really participate in the, uh, the cloud, uh, the, you know, this inter internet cloud thing people talk of where you store everything, where you access everything. And with the social media, this is going to be a huge, huge demand for bandwidth access to the cloud. And the cable companies will have to upgrade their infrastructure network so as to enable you to be able to store your stuff in the cloud. And our chips are going to enable that. That's a new standard called DOCSIS 3.1. And we are investing in that market as well. And beyond that, you know, as the wireless revolution continues on its you know, rapid uh, pace, uh, you know, a, a cellular operators have to figure out how to carry all the data in various cellular sites and bring it bring it to the core network and we are looking at those areas for growth as well so it's all about infrastructure it's all about service provider type markets these are really high quality very tough to do very high barriers to entry and we do it with very uh, difficult to do radio frequency electronics in plain vanilla digital CMOS process it's a very commonly available technology which is very cheap but but if you can do it there there's a lot of money to be made and that's what we are focused on I have a million questions, yes. by the way, I just want you to know, but uh, my most important question that I can think of is you really have global growth because 
uh, I think the demand for the products that you're talking about are just beginning to become practical in emerging markets. Absolutely. If you think of growth beyond, the U.S. itself is going through its big explosion growth. You'll see the tier one countries of U.S. and and some in Europe, and you know, they understand what this means, this experience, right? But if you really add the growing markets in China, India, and all, and South America, the brick in general, yeah, the brick in general, uh, there's a huge growth opportunity there, and we are beginning to ship into these markets. But we're at the beginning of the growth in these markets. It'll take a few years to grow, uh, to really play out in a big, strong way, but that'll, that could be pretty strong legs of growth for us in the future as well. Website. <laughs> Our website is www.maxlinear.com. And, uh, you know, it's an exciting place as we continue to grow the company. We've got a wonderful team. It's a fantastic team, one of the world's best technology engineers in radio frequency circuits and uh, communication modem designs are at our company we, are, we invite you all to visit the website and you know if you're if you're good and you want to be with winners please apply to our company for a job how about that look at that um a chips are him <laughs> like chips are us right yeah. ladies and gentlemen oh by the way what's your background because you have an interesting uh, uh you know company so how did you come to that well, you know, I, uh, by training, you know, I went to graduate school at Berkeley in electrical engineering and computer science. I did my master's and PhD there. And uh, that's how I got into this area as a part of my research work and later on working at Rockwell Semiconductor Systems Newport Beach, who were the big pioneers in radio frequency circuits. And I got my training there. Then I worked very briefly for Broadcom for a year and then uh, I worked for a startup uh, for four years, which is where you really learn to think brave and, and, and take a risk. And then uh, six years out of school, uh, I was one of the founders of Max Linear. So that's the story. That's the story. Ladies and gentlemen, Kishore Sendrapu of Max Linear Inc., a founder, one of the founders of the company. Symbol MXL, a publicly traded company. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We are at the 14th annual B. Riley and Company Investor Conference right here in Santa Monica. Dr. Sendrapu, I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you very much, Shelley. Quite welcome.